All right, let's welcome over YouTube. We're going to do normal lost run since I did tainted lost last time. I don't remember if I died 11 times now that I think about it. Oh, I was, I think holding R might count your lost streak now, which nobody cares about. So who, whatever. Normal lost. I can get hit once per room. We're going to go for angel deals. We're going to immediately, oh, get something pretty decent, honestly. Uh, we're going to ignore the deal with the devil, even though I can take them for free. Take deals with the angel, try and kill the angel statues. Go to Hush? Yeah, I do need Hush. And then from Hush go to Mega Saiyan. Believe it be. You can't get me. You can't get me. They're stunned. I'd care about a win streak if I had one. If, if you don't have one, who gives a shit if holding R adds to the count or not? Although, I, I, maybe I did die that many times as Tina had lost last time. Because I can see them having it count prior to that to stop people trying to maintain streaks by holding R. It's a lot of cash. I don't know, I, I, I can't, I, I remember dying as Tainted Lost a lot last session, but not particularly being bothered because it was kind of fun. But I don't remember dying 11 times. I might have. I guess that would also include the, who was I playing as prior to that, Tainted Lazarus? Ooh. I like. No then, let's see. Bog off and contract from below. Sure. That might be interesting. I'm not sure. I, I may have done, I honestly don't remember. I'm not sure which I prefer of like toxic or contagion. Because Contagion, if you're killing fast with a high tier rate, it just spreads between enemies that swarm you. Toxic, though, if enemies don't swarm, it's just a nice poison as soon as you enter a room. A nice-ish poison. That does nothing. I should have ignored it, actually. We don't need to go to the... Well, I will eventually. But that day is not today. Look at his little belly. Toxic is a set amount of damage in the sense that it poisons enemies for a set amount. Something lived. Wait, how did all they live? Oh no, they probably popped out something that died to the Toxic. Ooh, hang on a second. Time is a sort of a factor. It's a massive range down, but it could have some potential, like really good stuff. Ah, we're early enough to risk it. One point three off of your range is pretty hefty. I mean, we're not playing as Kane, so it's not like run ruining, but it's still pretty bad. But if we get something like, well, hell, if we had soy milk, it would probably be a really, really neat effect. That might help a little bit. Meh. Meh. Quit bombing yourself. Quit bombing yourself. Oh, who needs sleep? The answer to your question is me. I, I need sleep. Home or no function. Sleep well without. We're ignoring the deal with the devil to try for deals with the angel. Even if we don't get the angel deals, we can still aim for Hush if I go quickly. Assemble Cricket. Some assembly is required. I'm trying for Hush Mega Saiyan because it, I'm playing as normal Lost, not Tainted Lost. So he's technically easy. Well, yeah, technically he is easier than Tainted Lost, but the stuff I have left to do is him is harder.
but at least you basically don't have to do the whole run without ever getting hit. Because that is something that is beyond my skill level. And I don't know why I don't get more holy cards as Tainted Loss. I must have to unlock them. Because he starts by with one by default, but he doesn't... Like, I haven't found any more. And I'm not sure I've ever found any on any other character. So I must have to unlock them. Unless they're a unique mechanic to him, of course. Hello, awesome. Had the item room, but I need to re-roll it again. It'll, I'm calling it that this time it'll just vanish. Told you. And we're good to go. Hopefully to deal with Angel, one in three chance. Not a great draw for a boss that I can't kill quickly. Shit. That was just very, very slow reaction time. That's what happens now, I don't have any, like, I try not to have any caffeine. Oof, the rock saved me there. <laughs> if I kind of like this run, don't ruin it. Please block the shot, it did. You see that eye change trajectory before Pete landed? He counted as hitting him before his body was there. Taking my perfection. And my pearl necklace, my no deal with the angel, screw you too, down we go. What were you trying to achieve with that painting experiment that you tweeted at? Because I wasn't really sure, is it just the equivalent of varnishing it? Okay, two and three chance that I deal with angel on this floor. Oh. Careful. Careful. A grim dark like painting. I don't really know what that means. By like making it look like war weary or lived in as they say hello Roth I think all my painting comes out like that, mostly because of my over-reliance on washes. Oh, small rooms is lost. The new number of iframes on Holy Man will save me there. Because I got hit twice. Technically. By new iframes, I mean it correctly gives you one iframe instead of 0 0.5. Just dump everything into a tub of aggressive earth shade, that's essentially what I do. Although I've taken to not doing... What is this garbage? What is this garbage? I've taken to not doing that for Crisis Protocol minis now because I, I feel like bringing down the tone of those is not in keeping with how like bright and happy they're meant to be. It's not meant to be grim dark if we we're going to use that as a description for it. Chaos card. Ah, 
Oh, okay. I should have done that. I should have waited until I knew whether I was getting it or not. This is also risky. Well, <laughs> had to be the one that shoots diagonally, huh? before we fight the harder one. Okie dokie. Mm, nope. Also nope. Okay, fair enough. Take my coin. Yeah, I should have waited until I er, saw whether or not I earned it naturally. Because then I could have used it on the next floor. I think Lojack may have been replaced by a synth. Everybody be cool if you don't want a, a synth. Just, uh, I should have said brain slug, then it would have worked there. Yeah, I know I can, but I'm just saying, like, I also think bright might look better for just, like, how bright they make their official mats and stuff. I'm not talking about, like, changing my painting style entirely, because I wouldn't know where the hell to begin. I'm just meaning like less washes, a bit more like once contrast is done, maybe doing a little bit of brightening. I've not had much luck with the Eternal D6. Someone did time heist costumes for everyone. I almost went in the wait, I can't go in the cursor, I've got holy mantle. And I can fly. Damn you. Dormammu in a time heist costume? I want to see this. He wasn't part of the time heist. I mean, technically a time heist was used against him. kill you before you did that attack. Oof. I can't even get a reroll on it. No, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I saw the Black Templar, that's what I'm talking about. If anyone in the Faraki universe is grim dark, it would be the Black Templars with their holy crusading and whatnot. I hate when the ghosts spawn on you. Marshall is a lieutenant by another name, you're correct. The Emperor! That's very apt. So for those hoping for an update on where I stand with Futurama, I am up to the Comedy Central seasons, which were the final three. I skipped the season of feature-length episodes, because I don't like them very much. Although I did watch the first five minutes of the first part, Bender's Big Heist, just because they take the piss out of Fox, like, non-stop for five to ten minutes for cancelling them for two years. Stop giving me pills, I don't know where we're taking them. I, I guess I really should have, but now I'm in too deep. Is that worth taking? No. Is that worth taking? Yes. I'm going to look at it now. I want to see it. Is that a time heist costume or is that being too lazy to paint the black armor parts of Dormammu? 
Come on now. I need to zoom in on the other one. The other one fits better. I will say it does seem like they just don't want to have to paint all the miniature in some cases. <clears throat> and the world may never know. Yeah, I don't remember the final three seasons that well. They're not very good. There's a few good episodes, but the general quality is lower. I mean, they got canned for two years. What do you expect? And when they came back, they wanted to be smarter than they are. So too many episodes focus on trying to do clever science things instead of just like being fun. The early seasons, though, hold up outside of a few dated references. They 100% hold up and are still very funny. And if the, if the show had actually ended with the final episode that had been on Fox, which was the Devil's Hands or Idle Playthings, it would have been a good ending. It implies Fry and Leela get together. It's a good episode. Dan Castellaneta back as the Robot Devil. Just want to check the cards. Roll card? Nope. Stars card? Nope. No, the one where Bender, Bender goes to hell is like season one or season two. He comes back and because uh, Fry wants to play the holophoner, so he does a deal with the devil to get the devil's hands. The devil didn't expect him to be the one to have to give up his hands. He wanted it to be Bender, but the Wheel of Fortune thing malfunctioned or whatever. Yes, I say long legs does indeed charm enemies because it just did. I would like to get the shop given that we've somehow managed to accrue 74 cents. Why couldn't it have been a normal hermit card instead of a hermit question mark card? And then I accidentally turned my good card into money because I forgot what the hermit question mark card does I imagine if it doesn't already exist there'll be someone out there making a crisis protocol team themed around zombies I mean there's probably like individual models already been done but like a whole roster would not surprise me People do like their zombies. <clears throat> I've seen the scroll roster, yeah, everybody who is a scroll. That's a fun one. I've also seen like a full um, Green Goblin themed list. Don't be greed, you bitch. I don't know what hit me there or... Well, I mean, I saw what killed me, but I don't know what... What took my holy mantle. Well. That's good. Hopper... Was it still in the air? That was a good run to... Well, except the lack of damage. But it was ready to pop off if I got any damage up. Mm, I'm gonna disagree. I don't think it did touch me. Well, 
might as well try a shop again. What could possibly go wrong? It's the first shop. That's the one for more curse rooms, which as this guy might be pretty good. Okay. Oh, take the key. That looks painful, he's a ghost. Ghosts don't feel pain, presumably. Here's someone using like a very loud hoover somewhere nearby. Oh yeah, I thought one of my neighbours had died today. Because I just I looked out my house and the house across from me was just getting cleared out. Like, the carpet was torn up, they were taking out all the furniture and whatnot. I was like, did they die and I didn't realise? Like, did no one tell me? But later, oh, and in the evening, I actually just, like, I, I saw them. So I still don't know what the hell was happening to the house. I presume, like, it's getting a makeover or something? They're undead? Eh... It pro yeah, it must be renovations. Like, uh, literally, they're tearing up the carpets and stuff. Now, that's all well and good. Though I will say, like, the, the person that lives there is, like, really, really, really old. Uh, like, not, not to be offensive or whatever, but... Why bother renovating your house when you don't have that long left? I don't really see the point. The Hyrule. Future generations? Why? No, he's he's got like grown-up kids. They've got their own house. I guess they could be making it look nice so it has a higher resale value, maybe. Sell it to cover expenses. Funerals aren't that expensive. They are expensive, but they're not that expensive. It is interesting that the, the way the law works regarding like taking care of old people who can't take care of themselves anymore here. I don't know if it's the same in England or anywhere else, but if you have the means to afford the care, you must pay for it. And then if you don't have the means to afford the care, you get it for free. Also Blarg. Hello, one chuck no, I wish I could have re-rolled that. Oh, hey, two curse rooms on the same floor. The item works. Oh. What classifies as taking care of yourself? What do you mean? I'm talking about just being able to pay for the treatment, or, or the care, like the carers and living in a care home. Stay in your poop prison. Also get shipped to whipped. I forgot I had it still. I'm still attached to that run that ended. Take too long to die. Ugh, pageant boy. 
Devil deals would make it easier, but I want those angel deals. Certainly. And yeah, that's also true. But you could also like splurge on a hooker or something if you wanted. Both literally and metaphorically. As long as we're being crass. Look, if I saw a prostitute going into my neighbor's house, I wouldn't be disgusted. I'd be like, good on you, sir. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, there is no prostitutes around here. I don't th like I'm trying to think where is the closest like center of people that would even have the possibility of having hookers on the streets at night. I can't think of anywhere. If you're 700 year old who wants to have the trouble of finding a hooker. Or you could just do what Donald Trump did and marry a Jersey Shore knockoff. Sorry, I meant reject, not knockoff. I picked the wrong word. You have a whole street dedicated to bordellos and strip houses in the next town over. The hell are you wasting your time watching a stream for? not how modern day prostitution works. Am I so out of touch? No, no, it's the hookers that are wrong. Let's go to the shop before the run ends up dying before I see what's in there and then get killed by greed again. That's not the shop. I also have no bombs. I wouldn't mind having a look in there, though. No? It's not worth fighting bosses for. <coughs> We need something in the game room here. Oh, that last run was... oh crap. That last run was so much better than this run. Ooh, you bitch. Well, we still have time to restart again. Uh, let's go for a basement now. I mean, what can you do three floors deep with no stats? Not even a tier stat. And the lost fire rate ain't great. Well, I think it's just the fall of Isaac, but still. That also ain't that great. Thing. It gave me the tear ray aura. Also, it made me unable to look at my eyes.
Yeah. T -t turn HDR off. I was kind of hoping it would just give me the damage one, but Tears is DPS. I'm curious if Holy Mantle will trigger a change in aura, though. Because if it doesn't, that means that's the one we're getting forever, until the run ends one way or the other. Blah blah. Blah blah. This is the least annoying version of Monstro. Because he just sits there and fires. Oh no, he does occasionally do the big hop. That again, huh? Two of diamonds. Well, we got to fast travel to the next item room from that boss. And it has the yum heart in it. I guess I'll take that because if I try again, it'll just disappear. It is okay, 0.58 isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's more up. pool does it count small rock as if you get it from a tinted rock? Because I'm curious what would potentially be re-rollable. We'd still take it, but I'm just curious. I don't know if that's a thing. Like, you can get gold chests that have items in them from tinted rocks. Like torn follow and, and whatnot. The ghost can bleed. But the inner box would not be bad. Can't get it right now. Okay, yes I can. Uh, got some kind of superhero baby? Is it Magneto? What is this? He's firing very strange tears. Ultraman? Maybe? Buddy in a box gives you a random follower per floor of a, like, Unique baby type. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's a JoJo stand? Okay, it's a JoJo reference, of course it is. Get him, Jojo Sand. Whatever that means. He's firing, like, uh, Rainbow Tears. The effect he's firing is changing. Okay, that's a damage up. We ignore the deal with the devil. Foolishly. We look at the lost little belly and then carry on. Who we got this time? We've got a little sick baby that's firing psychic piercing shots. There's nothing to fear from these little things. And yeah, the other baby was bare. This one's doing its best, though. It looks so solemn. Sullen? Sullen. 
Solomon Grundy Solom? I wish to inquire on what day in which he was born. The D100. No. Yes, the spin bender though. Do better or it's off to the orphanage. <laughs> You're gonna go see Venom 2 tonight? I hope it doesn't suck. Or if it does, then it's enjoyably bad. Again? What on earth? It's good, so I'm not complaining, but... Ow. <laughs> Run away. Run away! You've heard it's amusingly unhinged? I've heard my stream described the same way. Usually when we end up talking about politics or D&D. Or political D&D, that's the worst. I'm playing as normal Lost. It's not going much better than doing the Tainted Lost runs though. It's a double floor. There's another item room somewhere. That's that's worth thinking about. But I will re-roll this again and get what I effing deserve. <laughs> that's fine. I don't know anything about D and D. The D and D stream was the one that I was probably hosting before I went live. In which nerds such as Valinar did nerd things like D and D. Is that the D and D equivalent of like the Star Trek question, "Who's better, Kirk or Spock, or like Kirk or Picard?" Just so I have a frame of reference. People have opinions. Where is the other item room? Did I already find it? I already found it, chat! No one told me! You might think I would have remembered when I went and found two items on the floor, but you'd be wrong. Yeah, that's good damage. Although that was mostly from Toxic Shock. Yeah, that's how those things move. And we're dead. Yeah, nowhere to run. Son of a bitch! Oh, we don't really have time to do another run either. Let me see if I get a really good first item room. Gregor's body again. Uh, we'll give it a go. Stupid Ragman, whatever that version of him is called, very fair boss to run into as the last. I've lost chat to D&D talk. I'm on my own, it's like a YouTube video. But we're so deep in, I have nothing to talk about. 
That's okay. I used to do this every day. How about them Knicks? We could be talking about Kickstarter. Don't trigger Valinar. This is summon word. Actually, I do have a question about NFTs. Why is it like what part of the process is it that damages the environment? I, I don't understand that part and I'm too afraid to ask. But we're deep enough in that I can ask now. Because aren't you just like registering the right to say you own a, a picture of an ape on a database somewhere? How does that hurt the environment? I barely know what an NFT is, so it's probably part of the problem. In order to authenticate the key, it has to be encrypted, which requires running computers to encrypt data. Why does it have to be encrypted? Why does the right to say you own a picture need to be encrypted when anyone can right click save the picture? What's, what's unique about the encryption style that's being used? Ow. An NFT is buying the right to say that you own something even if you don't actually own it. For a lot of money because it's a scam. It's decentralized, so many PCs all over the world world chip into it. Okay, so that is like Bitcoin in that regard then. I just I don't really understand why NFTs require that, because again, they don't really own anything, and anything they do own, anyone can take a copy of by right clicking. So it seems kind of pointless. Does that improve your angel chance? Oh, it does give you tears now as well. Because it's not, there's no reason to take it for the hearts, obviously, because you lost can't get any. What information is stored in the image? Is there like the secret to immortality in the monkey's eye? Like, I know NFTs are a scam and stupid, but I had no idea that they were this stupid. Because I thought there was just, like, one database and you just register with it. Kind of like how, like, official merchandise shops register with a database so you can check that you've authentically bought an actual signature, for instance. If you make your own database that says you own something and you you just like encrypt it on your PC, no one can change that either though. And no one else is going to check any big database except themselves, right? <laughs> Deal with the devil as per tradition. <clears throat> Honestly, the shorthand for NFT is just that people went a little bit batshit insane because they weren't allowed to leave their house for a year. That's the TLDR on it. 
and people took advantage of that insanity and got very, very rich. And now a bunch of people want to chase that because it's a scam and they want to cash in on it. Fool and their money are easily parted. Kickstarter.com <laughs> Why don't they have that be their slogan? It's, oh, that's a good trinket as well. That's a good... Oh, wait, I think this got nerfed again, but my mod un eh, unnerfs it, so get effed. What are they going to do once the product is regulated? They'll move on to the next scam. Like, for instance, blue screen radiation. And whatever happened to that? That Rosen died in a day. That is not a good idea to pick up, but I am sorely tempted because that is that's almond milk and almond milk is really really bad it's a shit version of soy milk but we have double vision and we already have an amazing tear rate so our tear rate should basically be as fast as it can possibly go but our damage would drop to less than one and we're already at 47 minutes sure let's take it you feel nutty Oh, I said less than one. It's not less than one, so I was wrong. That's pretty cool. If we actually had damage, this would be amazing. It does kind of feel like I'm spewing cum all over the place, but, you know, he's, go he's a ghost, he's allowed. Maybe. I mean, who's going to tell a ghost not to do that? You can't, really. No more curses. It's ectoplasm? Yeah, that's what I said. I just used a better word. I can't see the enemy shots very well. Oh, we still had uh, concussive tears in this build. Although I am still forcing it back, weirdly. Oh, how much, how much are we losing by doing that? I think... No, I think the cancer trinket is better. Uh, this one? No, that's not what I thought it was. The candle will do. Please don't kill me, angel statue. I like this run now. There's a bomb in there somewhere. Oh, if we could actually get some damage, they'd all pay. Yeah, well, I, I probably won't be calling this episode Come Ghost, but just know that anyone who lasted this long into the episode you just got bukkake by a ghost. Don't Google that word if you don't know what it means. Out. Oh wait, there's good jokes being made here. Gamers when a new Elden Ring trailer drops. Ooh, you're right to boo.
We have to save our every room, because we're playing this the last, every room could be our last. Yeah, that's interesting. It's also another tiers up, and we have no tier cap. So, um... Yeah, don't don't have an orgasm while you need the toilet, because otherwise you get something that looks like this. Yeah, is that tears too? Oh shit. That is also tears. Hello kitty. Absolutely not gonna be able to see a single damn thing the boss does, so that's oh. Revenge! Revenge! Please don't kill me again. Bung his balls back at him. Yeah, look at them moving! I don't want I just shot one off the screen and it hasn't come back yet. No! Oh, thank goodness. Tears? Tears! I don't want to deal with the devil. Go. Barely got revenge. 36 tier rate, huh? Don't hit the rock. I'm talking about Dwayne Johnson. He's been through enough. All those awful, awful movies. Oh. Now that's interesting. Normally, absolutely 100% never take. This setup, though? It would double... It would double up twice because we have 2020. But I wouldn't be able to shoot straight, but at the same time we have Cricket's body, so that may not matter. Ooh. Do it. Yeah, one person said do it, so I've, I'm legally obligated now. That's why I killed all those people. Yeah, I probably made things worse for myself, but at the same time, it looks cool. <laughs> Please don't crash. What would make this even better? If I picked up Epicac? <laughs> We would immediately die, but for 1.5 seconds, it would be amazing. Or a uh, face in a jar, for that matter. I absolutely did change. If you can't see the difference, you weren't paying close enough attention. Oh, Bitcoin. Apropos. They're sucking in my tears. Quote unquote tears. <laughs> it's like snow. Christmas is here. It would look like Christmas if we had, uh, like, cookie door. Oh, there goes my bomb. What's the item that has shots come back off the screen? Oh, uh, Dimensional Tears. I, I don't know what that item is called. That would also be fun, yeah, for sure. Unfortunately, there's no more item. Well, no, there is one more item room. This isn't the mom floor. Gotta live, though, of course. Uh, we have a good build for Mask of Infamy, because I don't need to be in line with him. Also, I can hit him from behind. Or rather, in front, because of the splash damage. But he's, he's, he's backing into a corner, he's got nothing he can answer with. I mean, that's not a good item from the boss. Oh, and they almost knock over my glue again. Oh no, we have to live through this, though. Just rush him down. Rush him down. Nice. Well, we can actually get into the Mega Saiyan fight, but we've got to get through Hush first.
tiny planet would be incredible because that has a tears up as well, I think. Don't say sick deeps. Oh, dangerous room. No, oh, never mind. The fear plus pushback is very effective. Oh, don't say bra either. Oh, careful. The spiders spit out and can't be hurt when they fall. I think the YouTube algorithm would know if I called the episode Bukaki. <laughs> Do you think that knows what that means? It does know all and see all. If you've ever wondered what Shady does with his time on his new job these days, this is definitely the run to give you some sort of idea. Now we have to go find our last item room. In case it's an item that affects the <laughs> synergies. Splatter Party? Yeah, I think that was one of the films he starred in. If I take that, the run actually ends. I will instantly die, but it would look amazing. It would look so amazing, but we would instantly die. No, I can't do it. I can't. I can't. If I had like a, if I had glowing hourglass, I would. We would instantly die. We absolutely would 100% die. I will go try and clear more rims to reroll it again. Because we have plenty of time, I think. No, not just a little bit of spice. Every one of these would be a bomb. The game would probably crash. I really, really want to see it. If we don't kill any room I go into instantly, we'd kill ourselves a second later. I'd be throwing away what could be an easy win. Well, maybe not an easy win, but it has win potential. I don't think an easy win is the loss as a thing that exists. I really, really want to see what it looks like. I really wanted him to drop 9 lives because then I would have had an excuse to do it. Chat, I'm going to pick it up because we've been going for an hour. There'll be other good runs, hopefully. I really want to see what it looks like. I know, I know. Oh fuck! Oh, that is amazing. Ow! <laughs> So this is how it ends. Shitting out an army of bombs. Also, each bomb is exploding into four bombs, for the record. Because I have Cricket's body. If I burst fire it, there's a chance. We'll see, I guess. Okay, okay. Yeah. Careful. Oh. No, it wasn't even the bombs that got me, it was a shot. I almost had her. I almost had her. That was very fun. <laughs> I don't care that that one was a loss, that was very fun.